Good morning, my spiritual family. Um, I'm here, parked at work. It's about 7.50 in the morning. Um, just gathering some of my thoughts and, um, you know, um, uh, pondering and meditating on some of the things that I'm, I'm going to be um, sharing with everyone on Friday. Um, it's always important to take some time uh, to be able to meditate on the Lord and uh, allow the Word to... Uh, to take root and to, and to penetrate deep down on, in the innermost part of our being and allow it to penetrate our minds. Um, but I just wanted to take this time just to share a short, brief promo of some of the things that we're going to talk about Friday. And you can share this video or you can uh, also comment or add, add, uh, add a comment or, um, you know, uh, uh, give, provide some feedback. Um, but again, this Friday, we're going to be looking at Mark chapter 10. And there was a thought that I wanted to share this morning. You know, we live in a society where everyone is always talking about leadership, especially in the church. Everyone's a leader. Everyone wants to be a leader. Everyone um, wants to have a certain reputation and, and have a, a certain amount of influence in the eyes of other people. And it's even to the point where we've become very religious. We've become very um, kind of uh, robotic in our responses and, and what we do and how we do it. Um, but I want to share this. Ask yourself, am I really a leader? Not necessarily in the eyes of God, but am I really a leader? I'm sorry, not really in the eyes of man, but am I really a leader in the eyes of God? I was asking myself, and I'm asking myself that this, this morning, and I was asking myself, I was evaluating myself, am I really a leader? Some of us may be good leaders in the eyes of others, but we have to get to a place where we ask ourselves, are we really a leader in the eyes of God? That place where no one can see, that place that no one knows about. Listen, according to biblical principle, according to God himself, through his son Jesus Christ, true leadership is when we have the capacity and the ability and the willingness and the heart to serve others. When everyone at, uh, observes you, when God observes you, the way he measures your leadership, one of the ways is in how you serve others. I'll give you an example. Pastor Vic, for a couple of weeks, I'm not trying to put you on the spot either, Pastor Vic. This is a good example. So um, I thought it was okay to kind of inject this. But the reason why he was not able to come and facilitate on Fridays the way he normally does is because he is coming alongside of other people, helping them to fulfill the plans and the purposes that God has for their lives. You know, the Gilroy Church was opening up and Pastor Vic was helping them to prepare for that. That's called service. That's a servant's heart. A good example, another one is Miguel and Norma. Every single time they open up the doors of their home for us to be able to come and to expound on scripture and to fellowship and to have a meal. That's a picture of what we're, what we're going to do one day in heaven. But that is a servant's heart when they do that. That spirit of hospitality. True, a true leader is someone, listen to this. A true leader is someone who always is esteeming others, preferring others, and lifting up others better than themselves. A true leader is someone who's always willing to come alongside someone else and to make it about them. That, in the eyes of God, is what generates a reputation and an influence that will far exceed what we can even imagine. So before I leave, uh, leave you with this video again the question is this we have to ask ourselves we may be leaders in the eyes of man but are we really leaders in the eyes of God because if we are and if it's something that's important to us it is going to motivate us and it is going to uh, lead us to actually serve other people and to serve other people who are less fortunate, who are in need, who uh, may not understand or have a sense of knowledge. That's true leadership. 
that is that is something that I want to be known of. That is something that we should be known by. He is really a good leader. She is really a good leader. Why? Because every single time we see them, every time God looks down, he sees them making themselves available to everyone else. Last thing I want to say is this, and we'll talk more about this on Friday. One of the biggest things that causes us, that hinders us from serving others is sin and selfishness. I said one of the biggest things is there, there could be many, but one of the biggest things that will that will hinder us from serving others and being effective in our leadership and growing in that capacity is when there's personal sin and when there's selfishness. When all we want and all we think about is ourselves. If that is something that is uh, causing us not to really be true leaders and not to be effective, we have to get that right. And we'll talk more about that in detail. We're not going to camp there, but we will talk about it because there are many truths that we can abstract from that. So anyway, my desire for everyone today is to have a beautiful day. We're going to meet tomorrow around seven o'clock. We'll have a, a nice meal. We'll get a chance to chat and talk and fellowship. But I want you guys to know that today, even into tomorrow, let us have that question percolating in our spirit. Am I really, truly a leader? And if I am, it is not by how much I know. It is not by my position. It is not by my reputation and influence in the eyes of man. But it is by what I do by serving others and making myself available in the eyes of God. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, you can comment, you can share. Um, let us go forth in the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. I love you guys and I'll be praying for you. Bye.